Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to start quality assurance certification. We're going to start with quality assurance and testing with Chai. I'm going to read the introduction. Uh, as you program, as your programs become more complex, you need to test them often to make sure any new code you add doesn't break the program's original functionality. Chai is a JavaScript testing library that helps you check that your program still behaves this, the way that you expect it to after you make changes. Using Chai, you can write tests that describe your program's requirements and see if your program meets them. Working on these challenges will involve you writing your code on REPL.IT on our starter project. After completing each challenge, you can copy your public REPL.IT URL to the home page of your app into the challenge screen to test it. Optionally, you may choose to write your project on another platform, but it must be publicly visible for our testing. So start this project on REPL.IT using this link, and so um, if I open this in a new tab, or clone this repository on GitHub. If you use REPL.IT, remember to save your link in your project somewhere safe. So with REPL.IT, um, once you're logged in, if you start a new project, it will, um, you know, it'll start for you and you can save it as part of your logged in uh, account. Um, on Free Code Camp, what you could do is uh, clone this repository down, get it up and running, deploy it to Heroku, and then, um, you know, get your Heroku server running and then to, um, take your Heroku URL and paste it into here. So the choice is yours. Um, for this specific one, I don't want this uh, testing framework on my programming portfolio app thing. So what I'm going to be doing it through is uh, REPL.IT because I think we're going to be learning a lot of lessons here. And if I try to port everything over to the um, production app, it will just get very annoying. And um, so, yeah. So let's start with the first one. Learn how Java assertions work. So as a reminder, okay, so yeah. Now, if you really want me to do this in the per, like the way that I've been doing it in the past, please let me know in the comments, and there's a chance I'll make a video series where we do it on a deployed server. But for now, I'm just going to do it on this guy, REPL.IT. I'm actually going to name rename this one, and I'm going to say this uh, quality, um, quality Assurance Testing with Shy. And I'm just going to call this, and uh, yeah, that's going to be good. Okay, cool. So now it's got a proper name and we can be begin the first thing. Now, I'm not exactly sure how you run these tests outside of NPM, but um, the key is here that you want to start on tests and unit one and your instructions are in comments here. So we want to make all tests pass. Don't scramble assertions. We rely on their order and ch for, to check the result. So here we have a suite called basic assertions. With that, we have a callback function and this callback function seems to move all the way down to basically the mid part of the screen. Okay, and so within this callback function, we wanna say use assert.isNull or assert.isNotNull to pass the test. And so the test is isNull, isNotNull. And then we have a callback function which has the following assertions. Here's one assertion. This is actually one large assertion. So if I stretch this out, does that help? Yeah, so there's two assertions in here. Here we have assert fail. Well, they're saying uh, to make the test pass. Assert.fail will always fail. So we don't need assert.fail. We want to say, well, we're going to assert null. This is, is an optional error description, null or null. Well, if we say assert is null, this will pass the test. And one, one is not null. Okay, so assert uh, dot uh, is not null one. Okay, so now I think that if we were to run the tests, we have to start the server and then we um, copy this URL here, um, npm install. See, maybe it's just starting for the first time. What we were looking for down here is when we see that this no node server is listening. And uh, we could check the server file to see if it does, says that, if there's a console log for when it's listening. Tests all not failed. Enumerating objects, interesting. Okay, okay, cool. Then it runs the test right here. And so you can see we've got a green check, which is a good sign here. If we scroll down, we see, um, I'm gonna pull this over so it's easier to read this. We've got things functioning, we've got four tests passing, and a lot failing. But the gist of it is that the, um, 
the first one is is null and is not null is passing okay so now if we come back over here with our url um which we we've got from here REPL, i think i made a mistake look at that REPL.co, yeah okay and so now we can say i've completed the challenge and that's it for the first one and so because of the um, kind of weirdness of this i'd rather just do this in REPL because um, you're just trying to learn the assertion language you're trying to learn this um, assertion language. The way that I think about this is that we write um, little robots that go in and check on your website for you and they can all do it way quicker than you and so you want to build little robots that are, are able to do that. So that way if you're updating some part of your application sometime in the future and you accidentally break something, well you can all, you'll be able to tell because your little robots can run through and war warn you that what their job was uh, isn't there. Um, so yeah, that's how we do the first one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.